Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. Sen has got a fair bit of track built out across there. We're going yeah, to I haven't look. done any of the uh, powered rails yet. Ah, right, yeah, that's fine. I've I don't think we Yeah, well, I, I was thinking maybe we shouldn't use powered rails. At least not to start with. Uh, we could do it for the first part of it, and then as we're getting closer... Yeah. End up well, pushing it. there's different ways that you can do the villager trading hall. You can have it all set up so it's fully automated. Because if you trade with a villager, you may find that they don't actually have trades that you want to use. And yeah. so you want to get rid of them. But you can't just go and beat them to death right there in front of their mates because their mates get to get upset with you. Weirdly, I'm... I don't know what they're getting all upset about, but weirdly, they do get upset if you go and do that. So we need a way to dispose of them. And what you can do is you can actually have them sat on trap doors. You can have them stood on trap doors and then you have a lever on the outside. And if you don't like them, you activate the lever. It drops them out of sight and then you they, there's a water stream and it pushes them along into a killing chamber. So if they don't do what they're told, That's lovely. you basically, you just pull the lever, kind of like, you know, the, the big bad guys in like Austin Powers or films like that, where they have an, an ultimate overlord who just presses a button and the servant gets killed and then yep. a new servant is brought in to replace him. That will be us. We will be able to do that. Okay. What? Do you not think that is a really good thing? As long as we don't end up paying more, I'm quite happy. Yeah, that's that's the, the general idea is we don't want to pay more. So that's that's all it would be. Um, and what else? you? The other thing that you can do is above each chamber that we build for each villager, you, you just have the, the railway track runs all the way along the top. So then you can bring the railway, uh, you bring the villager up to the exact slot that you want them in. And then they drop down into it. So we have a railway that will go above them, sort of out of sight as well. Now, and, and anyway, we'll we, we get to that bit. That, that's something that we can deal with later. So what are we doing now? We need to build a basic hall for them. So I'm just getting rid of a few bits here. Get rid of that. I know I just dumped things in chests. It's because uh, yeah, it's we're going to have... Yeah, well, we're going to have a sorting system, so I can just dump it all in there, and then it will all go into the appropriate place. So, um, so are we using wood? Yes. I've got a whole load of oak planks. Uh, and there's oak wood here. So what were we going to... It's oak, and you wanted dark oak, didn't you? Yeah. I thought that might be quite quite okay. Yeah. I'm going to get some dark oak. Haven't right. you got some in a chest? Uh, don't... Okay. You put no. some somewhere, but I can't remember where. I think I used it all up to make oh. um, chests because we used several hundred chests in here. There's four chests for each line. So we used, um, I had to make 800 chests to do that, plus all the hoppers as well, which is, you know, I, I'm just going to go in and have a look because um, just to sort of show the sheer scale of what we've built in here. I run all the way down through this side. There was a lot of materials in here. It was a lot of stuff. You haven't shown my surprise upstairs. Oh, yeah. I forgot all about that. Why is there a block of dirt in here? In where? Um, In the house. Like, on the... Enderman, I expect. Um, I'm just going to get some... Oh, an axe would have been good. Right, what we got here... There's oh, a couple I of knew there was the some. I got some the other day. Ah, right. Just forgot where I put them. There's hoppers at the top. So, I mean, you got those. There's a few extras kicking around. So there's actually three hoppers there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hoppers. Plus the four double chests. That makes 17 all the way through so eight chests there plus the nine chests that would be in the hoppers down through it's 17 chests per tile so far and i haven't done the second tile yet so those 17 chests times 100 is 1700 chests that we had to make 
And to make 1,700 chests, you need eight times that, which is uh, 8,000 and then another 5,600, which is uh, 13... 13,600 pieces of wood, uh, well, uh, planks that we needed in order to be able to uh, make all the chests. And it's four pieces of wood per log, isn't it? Yeah. So what I say, 13,600? I don't know. What's 13,000? Call it 14,000. What's 14,000 divided by four? 3,500. Uh, 3, 3,500 logs that we had to get. And this is why I'm really glad that we have the Instamine um, mod for cutting the trees down. Because otherwise we would definitely want a tree farm to get make this work. Because, um, yeah, that, that right. would have been painful. Anyway. Where are we starting? Uh, Cause... We kind of want, like, a, a bit of an entrance lobby, don't we? Yeah. So I would say if we just move up to about this point. Yeah. So we'll start here. So we want to mark this out quite carefully because we've we've counted this out and we can actually have trading areas. So I'm just going to do this with dirt in a minute. So if we go like that down through, oops, one up one there, um, here, here, and here like that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 gaps there, and then we go for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gaps there, and then we go here, 1, 2, hang on, Sam, I'm, it may be in the wrong place. Okay. Uh, how many gaps is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's in the wrong place. Move it up one? Yeah, it's all going to be moved up by one. Okay. Let's go and take all of this off a second. Like that. And just going to pick that one up. So, yeah, I don't even need to scroll along a bar. I can just um, push the middle mouse button on whilst facing the dirt. And Did then... you say a gap of five in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Should be. Done that. Right. And then one, two, three, four, five there in the middle. So we need to just remove these. All the way down through there, and hang on a minute. What? Oh, no, that's all right, yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, we weren't going to worry about gathering the XP from... Oh, no, this is the outside wall, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, ignore me. So on the inside, we're going to want steps or something, or... How are oh, we Oh, yeah, I'll go this? make some. Oh, yeah, because we're doing it different, aren't we? Mm. Um, I think step... Well, actually, well, we were thinking of fence posts, weren't we? Where? Oh, we'll, have a fen we'll have a fence post there in between each villager. Right, why don't you make the... Let's make some steps and fences. Good idea. Um, right. I will make fences there. I don't want spruce. I'm making some dark oak. See what they're like. Um. Oh, and steps. Ah, right. You right click on it, and then I can select that one. That gives me oak planks right there. And then I can shift click that bad boy like that. And that gives me all of that lot there. So I've got two stacks of fences. So. Sen has gone and sort of built. That's the outside wall over there. What? So stick them right. in the whoa, middle whoa, here. Whoa, 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 hang on. We don't want we don't want um fence down the back here. Which is the back? There. Uh, yeah, we don't want fence on there. All we're gonna want is that's gonna be oh, a... it's to go down the middle to separate yeah. them. Solid it? wall there. So we have a fence there and a fence there and a fence there. Although we can do that with the dark oak fences. Um, one question. What? Um, in the video we were watching, they had, say, a lectern here and then a villager here. Do you need to have more lecterns down? Yeah, or hang on a minute. could you Wait. just have one? Have you got any stairs? Yeah. Can you chuck what them do you want? Dark or oak? Uh, it doesn't matter. 
Have both. Right, okay. Because I was just going to just move these around a little bit. So if we have... The villager is going to be in that cell there. Hang on. One, two. Let me just go through and put fences down every other one and make sure that we have counted this out correctly. Down to there. Oh, I think we need to move it up by one. We did move it up by one. No, I think I need to, like... What have we done here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... And oh, I don't. I, it's just that I don't need that one on the end there. We don't. That one doesn't need to be that. That's like the outside wall bit. Uh, so we don't actually need that one there. That can be an outside wall, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Okay. So we have a villager right there. You're a villager. Okay. You yep. stay there. You stay there and be a good little villager. And we'll put a staircase there in front of you. Yep. This side is just going to be a open wall actually but we can do it like that and then we'll go up on top of here she want to build this upside down so i'm going to just turn it upside down there a second and then i'm going to remove that one and i'm going to put that one upside down there and then i'm going to put that one upside down there like that get rid of that one and there'll be a lectern in front of you so a lectern for every villager. Yeah. The right, fence, that's all I was curious about. Yeah, the fence there will separate between the two. And then we got to have a block over the top. So we're going to want... Let me just get these blocks down a sec here. Oh, I've got some trap doors. Yeah, um, we're going to need trap doors as well. I've got six here. So show. we need a block here like that. And then there'll be a trap door underneath like that. So, I mean, it doesn't matter which way the trap door goes. That just stay up there. So the villager, I believe, with that trap door there, you can't get out. You can get out. I can, but I don't think the villager can. Okay. Isn't that how it's supposed to? Oh. Yes. I believe they can't get out. Now, don't don't quote me on that. They they might be able to get out. And let, I mean, you might need to put the trap door not on the side, but oh no, you can't put it upside I've down, just, can you? I've just turned it around. I just oh, want it's it turned that way. Yeah, you you can't put it upside down, so it doesn't really. I think it's okay like that. Okay. I think that will stop them from getting out, despite the fact that we can go through. I don't think the villager can. I mean, if it turns oh, out... Oh, there'll be a lectern, though, in front of them. Yes, but you do sometimes, like, you start off, you want to get the right trades on them, and so you like you can break the lectern and then replace it, but I'm not sure if we actually want to do that with them. But, uh, anyway, we'll, we'll figure something out. So now we've got to decide what kind of pattern we're going to use down through here. And um, if we're going to alternate the dark and the oak... That block up there, that needs to be a dark oak block, doesn't it? Um, oh, I wasn't going to alternate. I was going to kind of like use the dark oak as a frame. Yeah. And then... Ah, right, okay. So if we take that one out and I'll just put the, the normal one in. So uh, do you think we should have it know. like that? Or do you think we should put fences in? Like, do you think we should have Where? in the front right here? See, we've got those. I mean, I think actually it's going to be all right like that. I don't think we need to put fences in between them, um, like in, in the front. If if we had a fence out the front here instead of the stairs, like if we had a, a fence out there like that on each side, and then you just had your lectern right in the middle in there to do your trade with. I think the stairs would be nicer. Right, okay, we will put stairs. Now, do we want to do oak blocks at the front all the way down? Or do we also want to do dark oak, say, okay. do um, um, alternate the pillars, the colour of the pillars? I think this all along the top. Yeah. Um, and then... Oh, and then normal oak underneath. For this, normal oak. Right. 
that's the end of the hall there, so we don't need to have it. We, we can extend it out by another block if we want to. Actually, it might be better if we do. It's going to make it a little bit more room. It'd be a bit cramped down in this bottom corner if we don't. So we'll bring that one out. We'll put a fence there in the corner like that. And then... I do need to go around the um, oh. edge and sort of make it a bit more secure because I... I have tried to light up as much as I can, but every yeah. now and again, I get a wave of zombies come out. Yeah, that's the only disadvantage of keeping the jungle there, is that we do get these waves of zombies. Have you got any more stairs? Um, the let me, no, let me just go make some. Okay. Uh, I haven't really got anything else I can do. I suppose I can go and put some more of these on this side. So we can't... We, want to do the same on both sides so we'll have the fence down through and then that's going to come down through there this is going to be so what we decided that we were going to do is we will have 10 villagers down here that are going to be the ones that will trade the enchanted books which i think are the clerics uh the, the librarian sorry um the cleric is the one you need to have a um a, what do you call uh Oh, what are they? Brewing stand, a brewing stand. We need to have brewing stand for those. We want to be able to get to the nether anyway to get the materials for doing brewing. We need nether wart and stuff like that. So we've definitely got to go and work on that. And that is why we want to get this up and running first. So we're going to have 10 of them down through here that are going to be the librarians. Then we're going to have 10 down on this side. It's going to basically mirror this bit. 10 of them down on that side. And they're going to be the armorers. And then over on this side, we will have 10 down through that will be toolsmiths. And we'll have 10 down through that will be weaponsmiths. So we will have 40 uh, villagers all the way down through with four professions. And then the hall is going to be extended down this way. And we're going to have more slots that will be for all of the other professions. Now, there are 13 all together. So there'll be another nine, which means... And we're kind of thinking five each of the other nine and so that means that we'll be able to have like uh, five farmers and five shepherds next to each other and then we'll have um i don't know the fishermen and then the fletchers and, and, and so on and so forth so they will all fit into that bit up there but the main ones the enchanted books the enchanted weapons and swords and all the really fancy shiny stuff that we're going to want they're going to be in these first two main corridors here off to the side so this bit right in front of us, this is kind of like the main entrance here. This is going to be a kind of a vaulted ceiling type thing. And we'll put everything in place. Now, the difficult part is going to be that this is only temporary. What we'd like to do is we'd actually like to build this one out of warp wood and crimson wood which is the two that we get from the nether. We want to build the whole thing out of that. So we're going to have to very carefully build all of this and then without letting the villagers escape we're going to have to replace every single block all around them with the correct types of wood after we've gone and gotten all the trades that we want so we're going to have to be extremely careful and cautious as we do this but that's the basic setup that we've got at the moment and that's that's, that's kind of our plans so I want to start building the steps up through like this. Um, I've just thought. Upside down. Yeah. So for getting the villagers in, we want to have the block behind. Not there, don't we? Uh, no. What I was thinking, I've got a, 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 an easier way of doing it than that. If we were to, hang on, there's blocks here. Just picking them up. Um, if we're to get the villagers in easily what we can do is if we build the track the track will come up this way and then we'll put it up over the top so that we can have it it'll go right the way along here we can just have this all the way along the top like that we'll build up the back as well right up to the front one we'll do this one first and so we'll build a track it will go all the way along the top oh and then we'll remove it as we go and then the villager, like the, the minecart, will come up to that point and it will drop down through and he'll be in his minecart in there. And so then what we can do is we can 
break the minecart from the front and we've got our new villager. And we have to be really careful that we don't hit him when we break our minecart, though. That's, that, that's going to be the one thing. Um, so, yeah, I, I sort of figured that that might be the easiest way to do it. Okay. We have each one come in like that. So he comes up that way and the railway will move right up to the end on that bit. Have I got... Oh, I've got some more oak planks. Yeah. All right. I mean, I think we actually need to have half slabs above the villagers here for their maximum comfort. We could also put lights in there. If we put glowstone in behind, or lanterns or something, it would sort of give them a bit of a back glow. But I mean, maybe we do that after we've got them in place. Yeah. Um. Well, I was saying that. Well, there should there should be enough light in there at the moment, and then they'll just spend their lives trapped in these little cells forever, never able to come out. Do you feel sorry? You'll for have them? to visit them often. Do you feel sorry for them? No. <laughs> That's not very nice. What did they ever do to you? We're not killing them. You're trapping them in tiny little cells for all eternity. They're going to be with their friends doing what they love. And we might be killing them if they don't do exactly no. what we want. There's then no we. You. We you will be killing them. One. You are going to be part of the genocide, Sen. You will be involved. No, that's all you. You can't just wash your hands of it. Okay, I can't make lecterns. Why can't I make a lectern? Do I need to make it? Do I need to have a book to be able to do that? I would have thought so. Maybe I need to. Yeah, I, I, I haven't got the pattern coming up. I'm, I've got a loom right there. What do I need for that? Do you want me to oh, look I just it need up? some string. And a jukebox. Oh, that takes a diamond in. We haven't made jukeboxes. Yeah, yeah, you could do. Um, we haven't made jukeboxes yet. We need to do that. Yeah, we uh, need to get our birds dancing. Table. Sandstone wall, stone cutter, blast furnace. Uh, right, lectern recipe is two burnt oh, wood slabs. It. Oh, three slabs at the top, one at the bottom in the middle, and one bookshelf. Yeah, I found it. It's, it's actually under the redstone components. It's a red because if you put a book on it, it puts out a redstone signal. So it's in the redstone components. The same as the target block, which I don't know if that's actually needed by one of the professions or not. Oh, I see the note block, which just produces a sound when it's struck. That one is just a piece of redstone dust in the middle, but the jukebox, that is exactly the same with a diamond in the middle instead. So anyway, the lectern means that we need to make more books so that we can get the bookshelves. Although we have, we've got bookshelves at the top, haven't we? Um... I think so. Yeah, we had some reserved for the library up there, but because the library is currently all full of names, we'll be all right to go and take some of those. So I will just race up here and go and grab that, and we can put a lectern in, or at least just make one. So it's, well, actually, no, we'll, we'll put it in, won't we? Put it right in place. You know you were wanting a bit of dark oak? Yep. Yeah, yeah there's, there's quite a bit up here. Up where? Up in the chest at the top. Why am I carrying the kelp around? The chest at the... I'm, I'm carrying a whole load of stuff around that I don't need to be carrying around for a start. But the chest up the top of the stairs... Oh! Um, the bookcases, I think I put them downstairs. The, in the um, chest up at the library, there is a huge mountain of dark oak logs up here. I kept back for doing work up here. Oh, I found loads over by the, um, what's it called? By the, oh, you by know, the by farm? the bees. And... Yeah, I put some over there. I, I remember. So did I. I tidied there. up the chest there. All right. Okay, I'm going to drop the kelp in here for a minute. We will be using that kelp, but that's just going to give me a little bit more space. 
And I want to go and put the ender pearls in here for a minute because we really want to make sure we keep hold of those. It's very important that we keep them. Oh, they only stack in 16s. I didn't know that. Thinking I should get some fence. We've only got two bookshelves. That is because we've used all the rest of the bookshelves over here for our enchanting table. Do you want me to make some? Uh, I've got 64 leather right there. We're going to have to breed the cows some more. We have been doing that as well. Like me and Sen, we do both play quite a bit now off camera. Um, we're finding this to be quite a fun thing to do together. So we've been playing a lot of this. Um, so just little things like the, the feeding the cows, breeding them, doing the gardens, stuff like that. We kind of, um, that's just been going on in the background, but you've seen it so much now in the videos. So you don't need to see that lots. So we're, well, we're you not probably too don't want to. No, that's, that's, yeah, that's what I was sort of thinking as well. Um, I'm just going to grab that sugar cane there like that. And I will go in here. So there's a few things that we've sort of been doing in here. And there's a few plans that we've got. Just need to carefully do one stack of that. So I can't do one stack. So now I'm going to have too much. To chuck that down. Right. Um, we have got, there are some plans that we've got for the channel. Unfortunately, one of those things isn't going to please everybody. And that is we don't have the time to keep going with all of the videos that we do at the moment. So we will be changing a little bit some of the lineup. And that will involve doing less of some of the other games that we're doing. Um, so that we, we've sort of got a bit more time. You say we. Well, so that I've got a bit more time. It is we. Like, we do. We, we produce this stuff together, Sen. That's just how it is. So we're going to um, be dropping. Once I I've. Eh? I, I, I don't. Oh, well, I suppose I keep you fed. Yeah, exactly. So you do help. And I ask for your creative input. There, Stop right. getting distracted. 64 books. I've got a whole load of paper right there that I didn't actually need to make. So we'll go and drop that up in here for now. Put that there. I Did I have any more books anywhere? No. Right. That 64 books, we can now turn those into bookshelves. I'm currently doing a series on um, Factorio, and I'm doing a series on Dyson Sphere. And when the Dyson Sphere series, once I've sort of done what I can do on there, and I come to the end of that one, I will be stopping that series, but then I won't be doing any more to replace it. We're going to be reducing the number of videos that are going to be um, put out by the channel, just so that it frees up a little bit more time for us. And we'll go into that in a little bit more detail some of the time, I think. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a big change that is going to be happening. Is that bookcase gone? Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.